Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan, and today I've got another episode of the Top 5 Mods of the Week. Now, hopefully you guys will enjoy the mods that I've picked out for this week. Coming in at our number 5 spot, we have the reshaped ebony overhaul. This makes the ebony armor way bigger, and the shoulder pieces and the head and, you know, the body pieces are way bigger, and they look way more intimidating, as opposed to the original ebony armor that is in the game. And uh, I always like to include a armor mod, because I like to make it so you guys can, you know, download an armor mod and make your character look a lot different than what it would in the vanilla game. So it's a really awesome mod, and... And I'd recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number four spot, we have Elven Wood. Now, this mod was actually recommended by a channel by the name of Pranks for Nothing, so thank you for the recommendation. And uh, basically, what this mod does is it adds an entirely new, you know, little community in the trees. It's like a big tree house, but it's multiple houses, and there's bridges leading, you know, across to each house. And there's actually a player home that comes along with this, and uh, it's just a little community that comes with a bunch of NPCs, and there's, you know, a tavern, an inn, and, you know, stuff like that that you can go into, and you can actually stay there, or you could buy yourself a house and actually live in this. This little community it costs 5,000 gold and it's a really awesome house and I will show you guys the inside of it in a second as you can see there was the tavern there on the left and uh, we're gonna walk into this house and I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour until we walk into the house so here we go You'll click on the for sale sign and then you can go right into it after you purchase it. Now here's what the inside looks like. And there's also an upstairs where you can store all your goods like in chests and safes and barrels and stuff like that. So it's a really awesome mod and I'd really recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number three spot, we have the Ancient Blades Weapons and Full Helmet. Now this mod was actually recommended by a fan named Cyborg Nitro, so thank you Cyborg for letting me know about this mod. Now basically what the mod does is it adds a whole bunch of new weapons in the game and new armor. So as you can see, this Blades armor that I have on- What the hell? Oh, there's a guard interrupting me. You dare interrupt the Top 5 Mods episode? Like I was saying, this adds a whole bunch of new weapons and armor into the game. Now, not necessarily armor, it adds the helmet and uh, it changes the way that the blades armor looks. So it looks really cool in that aspect. And I will just show you guys what it looks like for the weapons. And they added a whole bunch of new weapons into the game and I will show you them right now. So let's jump back into first person mode. And as you can see, there is a nice little bow here. It's a nice little red and black finish, and it's made out of wood, and you can craft it. And it looks really awesome, and I'm also using custom arrows as well. Next up, we have this really awesome looking sword that I think is really cool. The next weapon we have is a little dagger. It's a very small weapon that I've never seen before, and it's actually a really interesting and powerful weapon that you can use to kill your targets silently. Now we have a short sword here as well that is also from the blades, and it looks awesome. Now moving on to my favorite, the sickle. The sickle looks amazing. I gotta show you how you swing it in third person too. It looks awesome and it's really powerful and it'll kill your enemies very fast. As you can see, it looks awesome when you swing it. So this is my favorite part of the mod is the sickle and it's a really awesome mod and I'd really recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number two spot, we have Dragon Cliff. Now this is a player home that adds a manor into the game that is all yours, and it is probably one of the best player homes I've ever seen in my entire Skyrim career. I've never seen anything this, you know, jam-packed with content. And as you can see, if we look up, there's a dragon that flies overhead. It's not an enemy dragon or anything. It'll just fly around your house constantly, and I think that is awesome. I never thought that that would even be possible in this game. But if you take a look at the house, it looks amazing. We have a nice big tree out front, and there's a stable off to the right there. Now, we are going to travel inside of the house, and I'm going to do one of those signature tours where I turn up the music, and we chill out for a bit, and I show you everything that is inside of the house. So we will be doing that right now. As you can see, there's the stable to the right, and now let's walk straight into this manor.
So as you can see, this house is jam-packed with content, and it looks really awesome, and it's one of the best houses I've ever seen in Skyrim. So it's a really awesome mod, and I'd really recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number one spot, this is going to be a mouthful. It is the JG Weapons 4.0, and now I'm going to show you exactly how it works because this mod does something that I have never even seen before. So in this mod, there is a really powerful bow that I really want, and I think it is really awesome. It's called the Aquity Bow. Now, as you can see, to make it, we need the Unraveler Bow. So let's travel down and see what we need to make the Unraveler Bow. Let's go down here, and where's the Unraveler Bow? There it is. Okay, so that looks pretty nice, but we need a Conqueror Bow to make the Unraveler Bow. So let's go up to the Conqueror Bow. Alright, let's take a look up here. Conqueror Bow. Okay, to make the Conqueror Bow, we need the Legate Bow. So let's go down to the Legate Bow and see what we need. Um, to make the Legate Bow, we need a Catarus Bow. So let's go up to the Catarus Bow. Oh, that looks pretty cool. But we need a Reprisal Bow to make it. Alright, let's go down to the Reprisal Bow. This goes on for a while, so prepare yourself. <laughs> okay, the reprisal bow looks cool, but we have to make a bombard bow to make it. So let's make a bombard bow. Okay, to make a bombard bow, we need a shad steel bow. So let's travel down to the shad steel bow. Okay, that looks pretty cool, but we need the lint steel bow to make it. So let's go up to the lint steel bow. Oh, cool, but we need the crin steel bow to make that. So let's go down to the crin steel bow and see what we need to make that. Oh, we need the expedition bow to make that, so let's go up to the expedition bow. There we go. Two leather strips and two iron ingots. Boom. And then we can go back and we can make our most powerful bow. I think this mod is incredible because I've never seen anything like that before where you have to keep creating other weapons to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade and upgrade to get the bow that you want. I think that is really awesome. I've never even heard of that type of technique. And uh, it's definitely super original and I, you know, I've never seen anything like it before because, you know, instead of upgrading it, you know, at, you know, a grindstone or, uh, you know, just another crafting table, you can do it in this which I've never even seen before and then you can keep making the bow and keep upgrading it as you get more materials obviously I was kinda cheating and I had all the materials right off the bat but if you're playing this you know and you weren't recording and you really wanted to use this it would take you a very long time to actually get the materials to make this weapon so it really pays off in the end once you finally make it and you'll finally be able to use a super powerful weapon after all your time grinding for these materials and stuff like that and it'll make it way better whenever you create the bow itself so as you can see I finally got all the materials I go into the Aquity Bow and I craft it. It's the bow that I want. It looks really awesome. It just reminds me of like the Daedric feel, but it's like way bigger. And this Bloody Rose Shield I also wanted to make. So I go down to what we need, which is the Rusted Shield. Rusted Shield looks exactly the same as the one that I wanted, but it's rusted. See, I think that that's really cool too. You have to like repair it. But first we need to make an Imperial Light Shield. So we'll do that. We'll go down to the Rusted Shield and we'll craft that. And then we can go all the way back up to the top and make the Bloody Rose Shield, which is the one that I really wanted. There you go. So it's a really awesome technique that uses, you know, you have to make a weapon to make another weapon or to upgrade, you have to do this and stuff like that. And it's way more opportunities to upgrade. And now I'm going to show you guys the other swords that it comes with. I didn't have enough materials to actually go through and make all of these swords. So I'll show you what they look like. And they all are pretty much the same. They're all just swords that you can swing. So uh, you can try out this mod for yourself and get any of these that pique your interest. And I will just be going down the list and showing you all of them. I like that goblin greatsword. I think that looks pretty cool. Going down to the dwarven section we have a lot of really cool looking weapons and uh, swords most of these really pique my interest and I really want to go through and actually try to make all of these and try them out I think that would be really awesome especially some of these ones that are like really weird shaped I really want to see how you hold it and how it swings and just how it works and here's the aquity bow we're going to give it a try we finally made it after a while and let's see how this bad boy works Alright, so we definitely destroyed that guy in one hit, and now we're just going to privilege the town and destroy everything. As you can see, we've cleared out the entire town, and it didn't even take me that long, and I barely lost any health, because this bow is really awesome. I was playing on novice, though, so, you know, it was pretty easy, but as you can see, all these people are dead. I've lost barely any health, and wait a minute, there's one left. Hold on one second. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's the end of this mod, the JG Weapons Mod 4.0. It was recommended to me by Godly Hacks on Twitter, so thank you, Godly Hacks, for letting me know that this mod existed. And uh, yeah, it's a really awesome mod, and I'd really recommend downloading it. 
So that's pretty much it for this episode of the Top 5 Mods. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you knew it helps me out a lot. Now, I actually took a lot of you guys' recommendations because you guys actually sent a good bit of them, and, uh, you know, I read them all, and I tried out these mods, and they were actually really incredible. So thank you for everyone that recommended me mods, and make sure you recommend more in the comment section or on Twitter. I'll leave my link in the description for Twitter, and you guys can show me any mod that you guys think you're awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Check this out!